Okay. So, I'm going to talk to you today about there's three moments in my life so far that has kind of improved my physical, my emotional, and my intellectual well-being. But they started off being very silly moments in my life, silly and superficial and foolish, the reasons that occurred. So the three reasons are joining the swim team in high school, becoming a dog walker in college, and applying to grad school. Um, I, joined high, I joined the swim team in high school just to meet other people, to meet boys. <laughs> 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 and my friends convinced me to join the swim team because they said it was a really BS sport. Everyone hangs out at the pool and we could just have a good time. And I thought that was great. And my friends were expert swimmers, but they said, don't worry, you're not going to compete when you join. Only the expert swimmers compete, so you can just hang at the pool for like free. I said, okay, I'll do it. And when I joined, I didn't realize that a new coach had come in that season. And she told us the first day, all of you are going to compete by the end of the season, and all of you are going to become expert swimmers. And I didn't know how to swim, so that was kind of <laughs> <laughs> So at first, I was a junior at the time. All my friends were juniors and seniors, and I had to be with the freshmen, with the boogie board, learning to kick properly, learning how to breathe. And I didn't even have an idea that you have to stick your head in when you swim, and this type of strokes that you have to make. So I learned very slowly how to swim. And it turned out that, that my foolish reason for joining swimming ended up being life-changing because I fell in love with the sport. Um, I started to dive, and I actually swam a correct lap um, in the pool. And it was unbelievable. I didn't know that my body enjoyed this activity. Whenever I wanted to lose weight, I would, want, I would run or I'd do crunches and I hated it and I never knew that you can do a physical activity that you enjoy. And so when I joined the swim team, I had no idea that I was going to end up loving it and I ended up being like one of the best on the team in one season and one of the top in the city. When I competed in the meets, I was um, top 10, sixth place, whatever you can say. Um, but in Jersey City, which is where I'm from, and it's a huge city, it has about like eight public schools and I was in the sixth place. And back so that was one moment where it started out, it was a silly reason to join, but it ended up being really great for my physical need. Um, my emotional need, I thought was meant when I was in college and I had a boyfriend until he dumped me, and that, like, that kind of sucked, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know how like, you spend your time all, you know, with your boyfriend and like you're in love, and they break your heart, and you're like, what the hell am I going to do now? Because you feel like you have so much love to give. And it didn't help that I worked in an office part-time, and it was so quiet. It was as quiet as right now, typing. So what did I do? I moped. I teared. I thought about this person all the time. And you would think that MySpace or Facebook or any type of internet surfing would help me to cope or like help me to get my mind off. But I was the only one that was blocked from the internet because I was the youngest. And I think that's age discrimination, so I quit. <laughs> and I told my boss, so I was like, why am I the only one who's blocked from the internet? He said, oh, well, you're the youngest. You might be on MySpace a lot more and all these silliness. And I told him, like, well, I quit because you discriminated against me. And whatever. I think it. I still think it's age discrimination. And I left. And after a couple of weeks, I realized I didn't have any money, so I needed to find a job fast. And impulsively, I um, applied to dog walk, a dog walking position in Hoboken, New Jersey, which is like the yuppie town, very like John Corzine, Alex Rodriguez, all these famous people live there. And I got the job. And I didn't know that all that love that I wanted to give to one person, I could give to animals. <laughs> and that was really eye-opening for me because all these dogs, they lived in lavish condos and apartments. They had Burberry um, collars. I'd have, to, I'd have to leave the animal planet on for some of the dogs. <laughs> to watch TV when, when their parents are gone. <laughs> and it was just, it was kind of ridiculous. But I realized how much they needed, an aff they needed affection. And they needed that dog walk and that company from somebody. Um, there was this one dog that I walked three times a day, six in the morning. 
around two in the afternoon, and sometimes they would ask so for him to be walked around nine at night. So that means the entire day he's alone in his apartment. And it was so sad for me, but I also felt like, well, wow, this impulsive decision to be a dog walker, to get out of an office, to heal my broken heart, I was able to fall in love with my little dogs and just give them the affection that they need. So the third need that I had was my intellectual need, um, which I was kind of talking to Terry and Rick about yesterday. Um, I wanted to go to grad school for really superficial reasons, especially to the new school. <coughs> new York, I'm from New Jersey, and I wanted to have an excuse to come to New York a lot more. And I knew my grades would, would, would cut it to get in, but I didn't really care about the program. I didn't even know about the nonprofit program. <laughs> <laughs> walked in on accident. I wanted to get my master's in political science. I didn't know anything else. And I walked into Ida Rodriguez talking about the NPM program, and she sold me. It was literally out of, it was luck that I just walked in there because the other guy bored me. <laughs> I applied, I applied and I got in. And it was really like my reasons for, for applying were to be in New York. I wanted to live in New York, but once I found out the tuition that didn't happen. And just, just to be in that type of mode. And it ended up being, feeling like an intellectual need for me because everything that I'm learning is unbelievable. And I just keep, I feel like I want to learn even more. So in conclusion, I would say that if you feel like you're making a foolish decision or an impulsive decision or any, all the choices that you make, regardless of how silly they may seem at the time, they will impact you for the better as you look at it in a positive way.